Well, salute to Mondo. Tis I, Captain of the Steeds. And as you probably can see, I'm playing No Man's Sky. Heck yes, I am. I'm on board my freighter. And I want to see whether, um... Hold on. Where the fudge am I? Okay, yes, I forgot. I redone all my freighter, didn't I? So I'm up in the top control room. I've got to go all the way down a freaking staircase and all the way in. <laughs> that threw me for a second there, people. Let's head on over to my main deck. I guess. And um, I've got some frigates to debrief. We'll see if they become S class. There it goes. Here we go. Debrief commander. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Done, dilly, and done. Let's run on down. I'll just have a quick save actually on the way down. Why the budge not? Hit on up there's little chappy here. Hello there, my friend. Yes, I would like to see what missions you have today, sir. And let's go and hit on up a mission. Uh, yeah, they're all combat vessels, so I'm going to use that one. Hit this up, and let's see how we're doing. Oh, my days! Okay, so one of them has now gone to be in an S-Class. Dino Riders has S-Classed up. The Flumps are already an S-Class. So it's just Visionary is left to go. So you know what? I'm just going to hit up all three of them. I'm going to send all three of them on the mission anyway. And away you go. Fly, fly, fly. Awesome. Dundly and done. Right, so next off, people, the only thing I've got left to really do now inside of my old catalogue is... You know, Fudge and Herc. Um, how do I get into this now? Here we go. And I need to go into Outlaws. And you can see here, I've got to do two more pirate missions to hit the next milestone of 30. And we'll see if that moves the marker on a bit, people. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to go and be a scallywag. We're going to go and be a pirate. Heck yes, we are. Right out. So let's just go and find ourselves a pirate area of space, people in the view of us. OK, people, well, I've managed to find one. I've located one here. You can see it's got skulls all over it. That means it's a pirate area of space. So here we go. Let's jump on over there. Teleport in there, my freighter, uh, removes the chance of encountering freighters that are in distress, including giant dreadnoughts. Attacking said freighters. So, nice little tip there for you. Right, well, we've arrived, located in this new system. First contact, you know what? I'm just going to go scan all the planets in the system anyway, because, you know, it's free and it helps. There you go, there's only three planets. Oh, we've got a paradise planet there, star bulb, lovely. And we've got a frostprous crystal planet and a fungal mold planet. Tempted to go and look at Nogfield. Heck yes. Anyhow, let's, let's go, let's go. I'm just going to go over to the station here and pick on up some piratey station emissions. So I'll tell you what, I'll see you inside the pirate station, people. I think I'm going to use my sentinel ship because my sentinel ship is probably my best war machine out of all my ships. OK, John, so I'm landing inside this pirate station. Have a little sip of my old tea. This is a Captain Steve's brew. Yes, I've got my own brew of tea, my own tea bags. I guess if you want to try Captain Steve's breakfast tea, it's got oaky notes. It's lovely. Links are in the video description. I guess they are. Oh, that's nice. Okay, right. All right, let's go to the missions agent. The mission agent is found inside of this hauler over here. They all have these haulers, sometimes they're different colours, slightly different makeups, but yeah, by and large they're the same. Hello there, mate. How are you? Yes, I'm here for your missions. Now, sometimes they might offer a station core override. They don't do anything yet. But hopefully they'll do something in the very near future, but at the moment, yeah, they don't do anything. You know what? Let's, let's do this one. Let's go do this one. Um, that's going to give me a salvaged frigate module. We'll go do that one, people. Hey, girls, and start mission. So I think I've got to just go and hunt some pirates on this one. Let's go see how we get on with that. Now, I have noticed they've tweaked the pirate AI, or at least I think they have. Before, pirates used to fly out, didn't they? And then circle back round and come straight at you, like head on crash course with you. Yeah. I think they may have tweaked that now, because that happens less and less. Okay, here we go, pirates. Take this, you scallywags, you scutters. Thank you. Boom. Was he trying to eject the time? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I say that they don't do kamikaze runs. That, that kind of looked like they were about to do one. Oh, I quite like the makeup of that um, little explorer there with the large wings sticking outside. Looks like a glider, doesn't it? Pretty cool. Anyway, let's, let's just turn him into rubble. If rubble is a thing in space. Ah! Oh, I went and locked on something else then. Die! You take this, you! Heck yes. Mm, missed him. See what I mean? They're far more fidgety. 
They're no longer flying straight lines. These guys are all over the freaking shop. Freaking have it. Kaboom. Thank you, ass. I've reduced my wingman count. I couldn't see for Toffee because of my wingman. So I've reduced them to two, but I still almost shoot my wingman. Uh, I wish there was some sort of controls to make your wingman stay to your side, so they're in your peripheral, so they don't actually fly in front, you know? Because they, they're all over the shop. It clouds your judgement in which ship you should be shooting. Or at least that's what I find, anyway. So I reduced it down to two to make that less of a thing, but it still happens from time to time. Standing with Corvax decreased by two. What did... Oh, okay, yeah, fine, I guess. Um, that's a bit weird. Okay. Lovely, take that to you. Now, I find this weapon is one of my favourite weapons just for doing sort of combat. Mainly because it's quite good at getting rid of the shields, but it also does a fair amount of hull damage. There's this one as well, which, is, which isn't too bad. I find it's better on the shields, though. Boom. I just shot some freaking rockets into you. You should have died. Okay, let's just get in with this one. I like this one for up close and personal. When they used to do kamikaze runs at you, this was easily, easily the best weapon. Because they'd fly straight into it. Now, though, they fly all over the poxy shop, and it's quite hard to hit them with the dang thing. You have to get fairly close. So, I tend to use this one at the moment. Uh, it's less accurate, I mean, but it's got a longer range on it. It's got slight lock-on capabilities, which isn't great when you've got a lot of ships like that in a, in a hairball, because you end up shooting the ships that you don't want to shoot. I mean, look how many ships are there right now. It almost looks like I've got helpers. Not just my wingmen, but loads of ships. Look, they've all got the yellow trails. I don't know what's going on there, people. I, like I say, I've already got two wingmen now. At least I think I have. Yeah, I don't know what all those are for. You know, half of those, some of those are freaking shuttles. I don't own any shuttles. Okay, right, Coolio. Um, maybe it's because I've got my frigate and all my freighters in this space. Maybe I'm getting helped by a load of ships right now, people. I think that's what's happening. Fun times, eh? All right, well, let's go get this guy. Meow. Ouch! You get back! You flew into me! Okay, I think this is a bad guy. I think we got him. Boom! I hope it was a bad guy. Well, if it wasn't, he should be. Okay, right. Uh, right, this one. I'm gonna get this guy. Oh, no. Nope, no, he's got a yellow trail, Steve. Steve, don't shoot that one. Maybe I need to turn on the auto lock on. Because look, you see how hard it is to spot the bad guy amongst all the good guys right now. Fun times, huh? Right. Okay. Ah. Uh, hold still! They're very fidgety now. They're all over the shop. But then again, are they all over the shop because of the amount of good guys are attacking them right now and doing fudging nothing? I mean, I'd much rather if I was poxy solo. Look at them all. Holy fudge. How many do I need? And none of them are doing any bloody damage. And look, I'm going to end up shooting them in a minute, and then I'm going to get the sentinels on me. They're really not helping, are they? How? And look, the missile did nothing either. Ah, stop it! I'm going to end up killing somebody that I shouldn't in a second. Look at it! They're not doing any damage to this guy at all. They're just getting in the bloody way. Okay, all right. Yeah, I have no idea why. Oh, okay, now I've taken critical damage myself. Trying to... And it never gives you the right blanking one. There we are. Give me the one that I need. The shields. Oh, gosh. Die! Come on. You need one, two. There we go. We've got that one. Is there another one amongst all of these? Or have, have, have I done now? Objective complete. Thank fudge for that. I don't think I want to do any more hunt pirate missions because that's just a freaking chore, isn't it? Oh, well, let's head on back in and let's pick up on up another mission. And we'd head on out and that would hit us the 30. And then at least we know what the next milestone is. The only trouble is, I'd imagine the next milestone is going to be in increments of five. Which means the next episode I do, I've probably got to do five freaking outlaw missions. But I think, you know, I can do this in my own time without making videos, unless you're enjoying these. If you're enjoying seeing me be a complete git bag, 
in probably the not most professional way. I mean, that took me a month of frickin' Sundays. Yeah, oh, and there's there's some of these missions that are a little bit broken. A little bit broken. Sometimes you go to hand the mission, a, the mission in, and sometimes it doesn't let you. You've got to go to another pirate system before it lets you turn the mission in. Oh, there you go. I can hand this one in. It's green. There you are. Hand in. Boom. But that's not always the case. Sometimes it goes a bit freaking weird. Okay. We deliver some gra gra. We do a fetch quest. Of course. Start mission. It should send us to another system. Anyway, we've got ourselves that salvage frigate mission. Run! I keep pressing the wrong run button. I've been playing Starfield too much. The run button's the opposite, the opposite stand. In fact, it is in pretty much every other game going. You know, like Destiny or... Any game, really. It's only No Man's Sky that they swap them over. So if you see me do scans for some reason, that's me trying to run. Okay? Right, okay. Let's, let's go into the old system then. Uh, like, like, has it actually given me the blunking mission that I picked up just now? Yes, it has. Okay, yeah, different galaxy. That's what I was hoping to see in the bottom corner that just appeared below me there. Uh, that wasn't up a second ago. I'm going there. Well, off we go. Nice little glug of me too, I guess. Yum dilly yum. That's alright, isn't it? Not so bad. Well, you we, would, don't know, unless you drive my Captain Steve's Brie. Here we are. Holy, 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 holy. And we've arrived at Kate. Oh, fudge. We've got a freighter in distress. A freighter. A freighter in distress, people. I just want to get over there as quick as I can, to be honest. Let's just fly towards this marker. Let's put the floor, let's put the metal to the pedal to the floor, or whatever that saying is. I completely bores that saying up, I think. Okay, now I've got to try and get rid of this enemy disruption, which means I've got the other ships behind me trying to follow me right now. Right, let's put this into uh, engines. Shields, no. Ah, no, fudging heck. You can't press down. If you go past the one you want, which in this view, you can't really see past that. You see that bit of cack in the way? Yeah, I can't see where I'm putting it to. Weapons, I guess that's, I don't know what that is. Diverted to engine. Yeah, to engine. Now I've lost epoxy marker. I know it's somewhere over here. Okay. Where's the marker gone? What the actual devil is going on right now? Don't say I'm going to have to just destroy them. No. Nope. Let's just try and outrun them. Now I've diverted my power to the engines and now the marker's reappeared. And if they were getting away. Come on. There we go. Boom. That's freaking annoying, isn't it? Local enemy disruption. Let's just get down here. Ah, I would normally stop, but if I do, those fighters are going to catch up with me. And I don't want that. No, no, I don't. Okay, so let's stand on down here. Ah! Just land there. Sweet! Jumping out of the craft. I might not be exactly where I need to be. Okay. And because it's in letterbox view right now, it's... Uh, it's gone all piddly small. Come on, get out of the letterbox view. Targets aligned. Somewhere over this way. Apparently. Yeah, this way. hi -ya! Into the night I go. Okay, this way a little bit. Aha, I think I spotted it. I think it's on that yonder of hill over there. Let's just get my jetpack charged up. Let's do a melee strafe jump. Oh, look, there's a freaking cow dinosaur down there. He's a horny devil. I guess he is. Righto. Well, I think I'm where I need to be. Now oh, there we are. We found ourselves a little geck out in the middle of nowhere. Hello, chat. I have something for thee. The agent completes the pre-agreed security scan. They nod at me, ready to receive the cargo. There's ten gra-gra for you. I would have thought you would have preferred nip-nip rather than gra-gra. Not gonna lie. There we go. Return to the Bounty Master. Okay, the Bounty Master. We're gonna go back to the old Bounty Master. Might as well just call my ship in like so. I guess I'm, I'm just gonna hit this up, get some free navigational data while I'm waiting for my ship to land. Hit this up. Let's hope that it gives me something half useful. No, it gave me freaking nothing. Brilliant! Story of my life! Let's take one off then. Chicka bam! Up through the atmosphere. Chicka bam! And then into the galactic map, and we're heading back to the actual mission agent, which is over here. 
Chicka bow! And I'm gonna go be flying back into the old station. I'll see you in the station, people. Right, oh, well, I'm back inside of the old piratey station. Lovely. Yep, and jump on and out. Boom. Run on over. And let's go and hand on in this mission. Right, hello there, chap. Yes, I've completed your mission, your mission of bounty giving. Chicka boom, and in that. Lovely jubbly. And um, I think that's going to push on the milestone a tad, isn't it? Nanites received. Sweet. Getting fairly nanite rich right now. I mean, look at all those nanites. Lovely, lovely nanites. Anyhow, as I digress, let's head on over here. Into there. Outlaws. Right, it's now pushed it up to 40 people. Okay, so the next increment, or the next video I do. 40 missions? Are you serious? 40 freaking missions? That's um, that's that's a that's a lot of missions, and you know what? I don't think that's going to be an overly entertaining video, to be honest, of me hitting those. So what I might do is probably try and do eight of them in my own time, and then in the next episode do two, so you see me reach the forty milestone. That's probably what I'm going to do. That's probably what I'm going to do. So hopefully, see you for that, people inside the viewerverse. Now, if it's your first time here seeing this. Every time there's an update for No Man's Sky, I'm jumping in, I'm covering that stuff, I'm giving the guides, I'm giving all my thoughts and feelings, ideas to improve, all that sort of shenanigans. If you're liking what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Oh, you know what buttons to freaking press. I'm trying to hit, so like, I don't know, 100,000 subscribers is my real goal, people. I am usually joke about, you know, saying, yeah, I'm going to hit 10 billion or something. But at the end of the day, I would love to hit that 100,000. I'd love to get that lovely shiny plaque from my wall. I'm not going to lie. You know, it kind of then cements you into the world of content creation in, in YouTube's eyes. More so than any other, because you actually get given somebody at YouTube to help you with stuff. Yeah, I haven't got that right now, people. No, my poor little channel. Anyway, help my, help out my channel. I know you already are. Share this on social media and all that sort of shenanigans. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.